Batgirl number 21. Uh, this is written by Brian Q. Miller, and the artwork is by Dustin Nguyen. However, here it says Pierre Perez for some reason. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, he does not do the artwork for this issue. It's Dustin Nguyen. So yeah, it's not Pierre Perez. Anyway, this is a new story arc. Uh, Batgirl is still fighting against the Reapers. Uh, who in the last issue she fought against Slipstream, who was a classmate of hers that had this super speed suit. And yeah. In this one we get... I believe her name is Harmony, who she creates sound waves with her fists right here. And yeah, this is a really fun issue, a uh, really fun series actually overall, and it's really lighthearted. And I think this is because it's so, you know, fun and it's lightheartedness. Uh, I think this is a series that the Batman universe needs because everything else is just so, so heavy. Uh, it's still tied into the whole Batman Inc., but it, it, it's just fun and, uh, yeah, I, I really recommend this series if you're a Batman fan. <laughs> it's good. Uh, it's funny, and I really have nothing bad to say about this. Um, I really like the art. I love the art. It's, again, uh, just from the way he draws Stephanie. It, it's, it's really good. And... Yeah, I like this series. I'm. Uh, I really wish I would have started picking this up earlier. Uh, writing is strong. I think Brian Miller has been on this series since the very beginning. Uh, so I think he's a good writer. He uh, really has a grasp on on uh, Oracle and Stephanie and. It, it's just a fun series. Nothing so groundbreaking like Batman Inc. But it's it's good. It's solid. It's a solid, solid read. And with solid writing. So, uh, yeah. This has high marks. Uh, highly recommended. And that cover is just beautiful. It's paint. It's a painted cover. Uh... So yeah, next issue, not to spoil it, but I may be spoiling this, Batgirl Inc. So she's going to take her her part in Batman Inc. And she's, from what it seems like, going to England like she was supposed to be doing. But uh, yeah, again, fun issue, fun series, uh, really good writing, and really great art. So uh... Yeah, there's nothing negative about this book, <laughs> at least that I can see. I really like it, so uh, give it a try, and if you are already reading this, just let me know what you think about this issue, and yeah, that's, that's all I have to say about Bad Girl Issue 21.